hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem 2 square root of x plus x equals 3 okay this is um what we're going to deal with right away but the first thing is that we make this the subject so we're going to have 2 root x to be equal to 3 minus x then what will be the next thing to do the next thing to be done is um, to square both sides of the equation or before squaring both sides we are going to divide this by 2 and divide this by 2 this is going with this now square root of x is equal to 3 minus x over 2 at this point, we can now square both sides. We square this. And we are squaring so that this and this can go. Now, x from here is equal to, we're going to have 3 minus x over 2 multiplied by 3 minus x over 2. This is what we have because we are having square on that. So it means we should have it in both places. And this is not difference of two squares where one will be positive and the other will be negative. So here, if you're squaring anything, both of them have to have the same sign, right? Now, let's continue. X from here is equal to three times three is nine. Then three times minus X, that would be minus three X. Minus x times 3, that will be minus 3x. Then minus x times minus x is plus x squared. This is all over 2 times 2, and it's 4. From here, what do I do? Cross multiply, so that I have 4 times x. Or better still, let me write this first. So we're going to have um, 9 minus 3x minus 3x plus x squared is equal to 4 times x, and it's 4x. Then we have 9 minus 6x plus x squared is equal to 4x. Now, let us arrange this in a better way. I will write x squared first. x squared, this is minus 6x. This comes out to become minus 4x. And then we have um, 9, right? So we have plus 9. And this is equal to 0. I want to believe everything is out. We wrote x squared. We wrote minus 6x. We wrote minus 4x. And we wrote plus 9. This is equal to 0. x squared minus 10x plus 9 is equal to 0. So this is what we have. So now we have a quadratic equation. And what we'll do is looking for, what we have to do is to look for the methods to apply. We can equally, we can um, easily factorize what we have here. Okay, by looking for two numbers, we multiply to get 9. I think I'll pick minus 9 and minus 1. Because minus 9 times minus 1 will give us plus 9. And minus 9 minus 1 will give us minus 10. So this means the factors will be x minus 9, close this, and then here we have um, x minus 1. Now this is me jumping the step, right? If you had um, a coefficient that's more than 1 in this place, you cannot jump a step just like I've done. So this is equal to 0, and then what do I do? It means that um, x minus 9 equals 0 or x minus 1 equals 0. So what do I do? This means that x is equal to 0 plus 9 or x is equal to 0 plus 1. Our x from here remains 9 or x on the other side is equal to 1. Then, bringing the two values together, x equals 9 or 1. 
Now, what do I do? Let's put these two value back into the original where we have 2 root x plus x equals 3. If I put in 9 first, then we're going to have 2 square root of 9 plus 9. And this is already more than 3. So it's not going to work, right? As a matter of fact, this is giving us some um, 2. Square root of 9 is what? 3. 3 times 2 is 6. So we have 6 plus 9. And this is equal to 15. So what does this mean? It means that x to be equal to 9 is not satisfying. Now the next value is x to be equal to 1. So I'm going to put in the value of x as 1. Okay, so we have 2 square root of x plus x equals 3. Now x to be equal to 9 is not working as we have seen. Now let's put in 1. We have 2 square root of x. Okay, the x is now 1 plus x is 1. Now the question is, will this give us 1? Now we have um, 2 multiplied by 1 because square root of 1 is 1, then plus 1. This will be 2 times 1 is 2 plus, plus 1, right? And this is giving us 3. Remember, it is 3 that we had on the right hand side. So this is to confirm that x to be equal to 1 is satisfying the, the equation. Thank you for watching and um, give me a thumb up and um, share this to more of your friends. Thank you.